Hi guys and welcome back to my channel and as you can see we are back in London. Today is a, a special um, episode on my channel, a special video since uh, I'm reviewing after two weeks of use uh, the brand new iPhone 12 uh, Pro. So the intention of this uh, review uh, is not to give you a, a detailed uh, overview and specification and uh, user experience of and technological features of this phone. There are a lot of better YouTubers uh, more um, competent than, my, than myself uh, to do that. Uh, and I will leave the description of some of them, uh, their reviews uh, uh, down below. So the idea is uh, to uh, give you um, an opinion on my first two weeks of experience. Please bear in mind that uh, uh, I have, uh, I always upgrade my phone, so I had all, every model of uh, uh, iPhone since the, the free. Um, and uh, more important, uh, I'm trying to uh, give you, to answer this question. Should you buy it? Should you upgrade it? Or should, and also, should you choose uh, the uh, 12 Pro or uh, the 12 or the 12 Pro Max? So in particular, the 12 and the 12 Pro are, as you can, as you will see, quite similar. So the question is, uh, should you buy it? the 12 Pro or the 12. So with no further ado, it will be very quick uh, and very hands-on uh, user experience. Let's go and see the details of uh, this uh, phone. So this is the phone, guys. Um, so we're talking about a 5.1 inches uh, uh, display and in terms of dimension is uh, uh, 578. 282 and 0 0.29 inches, so it's very, very thin. Uh, this is uh, uh, the graphite uh, color, the so-called black, dark gray color. And uh, it comes uh, in uh, uh, different colors, of course. There is the graphite, there is the white, uh, the gold, and uh, uh, the uh, brand new uh, navy blue uh, color. The big difference, uh, uh, which was uh, highly requested and highly anticipated, is that the form factor to this year is, uh, uh, cha has changed. So we are not, do not have any more the rounded edges. We have, as you can see, we have these uh, steep square engines. And this, uh, in, the, in the 12 Pro, the borders are stainless steel. So in terms of color, the, those color, and while the matte part, the black part is matte. So this, uh, uh, as I said, is a graphite, so I hope I can give you an idea of the phone and how this grey turns into light grey, depending on the angle, to even black, as you can see. It's very, very beautiful in my opinion. All the colors, in my opinion, are very beautiful. And the design definitely is uh, uh, a, a big uh, plus of uh, this year uh, models. Just to give you an idea of the dim dimension and also on the design, that which uh, reminds me one of the oldest and most famous iPhones, which is the iPhone 4, which uh, it happens for me to I have it right here. So as you can see, that the design is quite similar. The only thing is that here we have a, a glass uh, back, a black uh, back, while there are no. But if I compare them, you see now it's uh, it's bigger and more or less uh, the same uh, size in terms of depth uh, but the, if you look at the, the screen then uh, definitely you have a 6.1 inches here versus 3.5 so there is uh, and also the quality OLED versus LCD is uh, uh, totally uh, different it's very light it's very beautiful uh, and uh, um, it's it's a joy to see uh, but Please bear in mind that, of course, you need a cover also because, as you can probably see, I managed for five seconds here and it's already full of fingerprints. So the size, the stainless steel, beautiful size, which is also one of the difference versus the 12, the normal 12, which is in uh, aluminium, are fingerprint uh, magnet. So definitely uh, bring and, and put a cover on it. Uh, in terms of screen, 
and you can see it here we are talking uh, as I mentioned a 6.1 inches OLED display 2532 per 1170 uh, nits uh, and this is exactly the same screen as you have on the 12. The iPhone comes of course uh, with, uh, let me unlock it, uh, comes uh, with uh, the new iOS 14 but the screen is no. let's focus on the screen, the screen is an OLED one so you can see very usual Apple as you can as you would expect from Apple perfect user experience and beautiful uh, uh, and beautiful uh, uh, screens uh, in terms of screen apart from the size uh, let me show you again a comparison with uh, the 4 so you see how in terms of refresh how smoother is the experience although on the 4 was not bad but also in terms of quality uh, of brightness of the screen they're all full brightness uh, uh, you can see the OLED and the high superior quality uh, in the uh, in this phone but again years has passed uh, and this is the brand new technology I would expect have expected and, and appreciated the high refresh rate on the screen but uh, it will be for next year while I am showing you a little bit more this uh, phone and uh, and the looks, uh, um, I forgot to tell you about battery life, which was uh, uh, a topic highly debated debated on on the web. I didn't find so far with an average user usage uh, particular differences versus uh, the. Um, 12, uh, the 11 Pro I had before, so we're talking about more or less one uh, day of uh, usage. And also you will hear a lot uh, and you will see a lot of videos about uh, the MagSafe, so the fact that you have this wireless charging, uh, fast charging available with 20, you have to have 20 watts of charger uh, at minimum, that's what is recommended. Yeah, I tried it. It's good, but if you connect with a cable, with the lightning cable here to a MacBook or to a 20 watt plus charger, it will do the same. So, uh, and I also have this magnetic case, which I normally use. I don't have now because I wanted to show you the phone with Pitaka, and that is already magnetic and can allow definitely the um, the fast charging. So, in my humble opinion, as an average user, uh, this uh, uh, MagSafe charger uh, feature is like uh, rediscovering uh, uh, the hot water. Uh, so, it's nothing new. It's a good feature, but uh, it's, it was already on the market and actually it's fast charging. So, you want uh, uh, it's not something that will change uh, your, uh, your life. Big disappointment, as you probably have heard also on, on the web, is regarding what's in the box. As you can see here, I put the, on the right the uh, box of the iPhone 12 Pro versus the 11 Pro here on the left. See the sides, the height is half of it. Why? Because, as you know, uh, this year it doesn't come with any charger, just with the cable because there is this new MagSafe uh, feature and also because uh, you can buy uh, mm, chargers on the market uh, uh, Apple recommend at least for the fast charging a 20 watts uh, charger yeah they said for environmental environmental issues and to be to, to save uh, the planet but in reality is to save the costs let's be honest on this so hopefully <coughs> This uh, gave you an idea of uh, this little guy here. So the questions. Bearing in mind that we are talking about uh, a phone that starts, uh, this one, the 12 Pro, starts at uh, $999, while the 12 is starts at um, $799, so $200 less. So again, they are quite similar as I, I show you, but there are three main, uh, if I may say so, three main difference apart from the price, of course. Um, one is uh, uh, the storage. So uh, the storage, uh, the, the 12 starts at 64. So 799, you have 64 giga RAM of storage, while uh, the Pro is 128, 128. Second is the camera, the features of the camera, the ultra wide telephoto as we 
discussed, uh, they are a little bit better on the 12 Pro. And the third one, of course, uh, well, there is debatable on the RAM, but the third one is about uh, the material, the premium material, the stainless steel that you have uh, on the Pro versus uh, the um, 12. Because I don't count the colors because that is a, a personal choice. So my honest opinion, and I agree with the uh, famous YouTuber Dave, I will leave the description down below as well, is that this year 12 Pro, the 12 Pro uh, is, uh, was supposed to have the high and the refresh rate screen, which now, as you can see, is a perfect screen, we saw it, but uh, it's uh, not uh, the so anticipated high and uh, refresh rate screen. So that differentiating factor, which would have justified, in my opinion, the $200 more price tag, is not there. And it will be surely there next year. So as such, I cannot recommend a complete upgrade to this phone. I did it because I have the Apple Upgrade program, so every year, as I mentioned at the very beginning, I got a new phone. But for me, if uh, you are not, so if you still need a new phone, so you have an old model or you simply want a new phone, definitely uh, it, um, it's a matter of, uh, in my opinion, personal choice on the colors and on the material. If you don't have this fancy for this colors and materials, or if you are not, uh, let's say, a professional uh, photographer that really needs the additional features on the camera, then please go for, my, my suggestion is to go for the if iPhone 12, not the 12 Pro. Second and last uh, suggestion that I can give you, instead if you have uh, a, an 11 Pro or even a, a 10, wait till next year to upgrade. The big leap will be next year. I think that all the features that we discussed, unless really you are fancy of this new design, which is extremely beautiful, um, there is no need this year to, to upgrade, you can wait one year because next year definitely will be a high refresh rate, there will be new features, yes there is 5G this year but uh, at least here in London is not always used and it's a modular 5G so the phone in order to preserve the battery uh, it uh, uh, understand and evaluates where, when 5G is needed or not and it optimizes the, the, the switch between 4G, 3G and 5G so it's not continuous 5G. So that's all for today. I hope that uh, I gave you uh, an, a good suggestion and an overview of uh, my first two weeks of usage. If you have any questions, please leave them in the description down below, in the comments down below. Uh, and otherwise, uh, see you next time and stay safe. Bye.